The very first time I drank, I got drunk. After that, I drank anything I could get my hands on. Once I started drinking, I couldn't stop. Often, I got sick. I couldn't imagine life without alcohol. Restless and bored when sober, I managed to quit for brief periods of time, but I felt tentative about my sobriety. Booze made me feel normal and uninhibited. It gave me courage to do things I could never do sober. Can I have a second helping of meatloaf, please? I always did silly things while drunk. Ill-advised sexual encounters, bladder problems on the bus, in jail for a minor car wreck at 17, I ended up in a cell with a child molester who looked like Peter Lorre. As I got older, my drinking followed a fairly predictable pattern. Anyone could see I was in trouble, and I resented having it pointed out. You've got a problem, Callahan. After I was paralyzed at 21 in yet another car accident, my driver and I were both drunk. My drinking only increased. Hey, there's a $5 bill in my left shirt pocket. Go get me a short case, would you? After my accident, I lived in nursing homes for three years, drinking hard and becoming more bitter. I'm going out to round up the chickens and take them to the pizza church. That Phil Donahue is quite a gal. One night, my friend Jay pushed me home from a bar. Drunk, we didn't notice that my foot was dragging beneath my wheelchair. The nursing home attendants removed my shoes and discovered my toes had been nearly scraped off. I was tossed out on my ear. Moving into an apartment, my drinking only got worse. My alcoholic attendant and I drank together. I discovered I'd lost complete control of my drinking. Time after time, I'd take that first drink, knowing it would lead me to miserable drunkenness and horrendous withdrawal. One day, home, alone, and half drunk, I happened to drop my bottle. Try as I might, I simply couldn't reach the bottle. I became so upset, I began to break down. I started screaming and didn't care who heard. I was so frustrated, I began screaming at God, who I didn't even believe in. As I raved, I felt the anguish of my entire life. I cried a deep and cleansing cry like a child. At the same time, I felt strangely comforted. I rolled to the telephone and called for help. From that time till now, I have not wanted a drink. In treatment, I learned that it was alcoholism that made me drink, not my difficult life experiences. I drank because my shoes were too tight. I drank because I was named Corky. I drank because I have an electric machine attached to my back, which forces me to drink. I'm not sure what caused my alcoholism, but I think heredity played a role in it. Though I'm sober, my basic personality hasn't changed. And I've found a new way of living, which really works, even in tough times.